Hi. Welcome to the mothership. <laughs> so I am just... Hold on one second here. I'm just going to do a quick uh, collective check-in. So if you found your way here, uh, this is just a Twin Flame Collective general reading. I've been actually away from my desk for quite a minute and doing some extra training, finishing up some contracts and timelines, doing some deeper integration work. So I hope you all have been enjoying the times. And let's see what our messages are for today. start with two cards for the Divine Masculine. We have the King of Swords and the Two of Cups reversed. And two cards for the Divine Feminine today. We have the King of Cups reversed. And nine. Nine is the hermit. So you may also be an air sign, or your divine counterpart could be an air sign. Uh, but again, this is general. So there seems to be some communication about an imbalance. Somebody may have also uh, cut off their partner. For some of you there is no emotion and no expression, no balance in this partnership at the moment. Uh, Divine Feminine, you do have all the answers within you. You may be taking a break. For some of you this is Maybe also wishing that there was a, a more balanced uh, communication uh, that was more expressive emotionally. Maybe this has been the imbalance within the dynamic. I'm going to clarify this. also want to remind you to take a moment and connect into your heart space and also that there is no such thing as separation. So whatever themes are coming up, remember that you're both aspects, divine masculine and divine feminine. You can apply these readings to yourself as well as to see the deeper issues within your own dynamic. So on the Divine Masculine side today, we have the Queen of Wands, the Six of Wands reversed, and the Three of Cups reversed. For somebody, they um, are not experiencing the success that maybe they were looking for. There is a Queen of Wands here. So this is a very driven and passionate person. And for some, there has been um, 
I'm hearing the word uh, persistence. And I'm getting the sensation that there's a per been a persistent lack in uh, celebration of victory. For some of you, this is also signifying that they have kind of put to rest maybe a partnership they were in. This could be a karmic partnership. For others of you, this is more of a feeling of defeat. So maybe this has to do with the imbalance within the relationship. Let's get a little bit more information. I'm going to clarify the Divine Feminines. We have the Queen of Pentacles wanting to come out here to the Eight of Cups in reverse. So in a sense, um, we have the Six of Cups in reverse too. There is, there's been a departure. And for some of you, this is either you walking away or this could be blocking your person as well. But there is a sense of not wanting to go back to the past or back in any fashion. Just no going back. This could be to the way things were. This could be to the same person, to the same dynamic. But in a sense, this is putting the past to rest. So for the Divine Masculine, this could be actually... I'm getting a sensation of how they interact with their own uh, mother figure, how they were preconditioned to their relationships by their family, their upbringing, those types of patterns and conditions. And whether this is cognizantly coming to the surface, like in a, having an awareness of this or not, like it could be subconscious or it could be conscious at this point. This has definitely led to some of the imbalance that has contributed to the partnership. So this could be on the maternal side, something that needs to be balanced out here because there is, um, there's a sensation of harshness when it comes to relationships. Divine Feminine, this is about stability for you. This is about reaching that internal point of balance and harmony, maybe taking care of home and family. This is also about expectation. And also this is about moving forward. So getting yourself centered enough, knowing what you want from the inside out. So let's get some more layers here. cycles and rhythms this is actually knowing how to balance your body your emotions and your energy levels so this could be something that you are really working with divine masculine remember that we all have feminine and masculine energy these readings are meant to be used to balance out uh, your yin and your yang so we also have golden opportunity important doors are opening for you all right, so this is also getting in connection with your emotions. So we see that reflected here on the feminine side with the King of Cups in reverse. 
So we see this reflected on the masculine side with cycles and rhythms and getting in touch with those emotions that will open those brand new doorways. This is a cleansing and this is also um, maybe even spiritually orchestrated. This is divine timing and remember that divine timing is a, it's about your own frequency that you hold. When you raise your vibration, it puts you into alignment with those new doors that can open. So take a moment just to discern where maybe some of these imbalances are stemming from. Let's also see what the mirror has to offer on the Divine Feminine side. We have Mother Earth, so this is about your divine purpose. This is about your contract and coming to the planet to walk the twin flame path. beautiful so we have a shell this reminds you that you are the channel you are more than able to walk this twin flame path and you are ultimately protected as you walk this path this is all about you getting grounded and connected and rooted into your own self so again we have the hermit going to the internal landscape finding yourself within and realizing that you are this channel of healing power. So this is all about embracing your twin flame gifts. We also have Artemis the Guardian. This is holding the path. This is holding the flame. This is knowing that your loved ones are protected. And also this is a reminder to really put your perception into practice. Hold your frequency, hold your dream continue to hold it in place. This is not wavering, and this is knowing that you have all the divine and spiritual protection on your path. So when you hold this space, uh, you may also realize that doors are able to open for you. So on the masculine side, this is again about really honoring what it is that you need as well as on the feminine side going within searching for those answers within in order to honor your own path honor this path that you've come to this life for Let's see if there's some advice for today. Divine Feminine, we have intent. I feel like this is actually for both, the Divine Masculine and Feminine aspect. And this goes very well with Artemis. This is about focusing your intent. Intent is a power. It's that place that you hold your frequency. It's that place that you get clarity within, reconnecting to your inner landscape, your inner self, taking that space of reflection in order to really fix your intent. This is about using your willpower and making decisions, commitments, having follow through. And this is about being very grounded on your path. We have, again, Mother Earth being connected. If there's something that's really throwing off your connection to yourself, it will be reflected in your twin, in your twin connection.
a very like fluid and organic reading. Just want to remind you that when we read the cards, it's just a reflection, but energy is fluid, things can change. So this gives you a point of reference and maybe places to dial in on your path to create a greater balance. When you tune into your masculine aspect, there may be a need to really address your emotions in order to walk through these new doorways so that you can come to that celebration and that victory. Maybe you've seen those areas of collaboration were impaired in some way due to your perception, your patterns and conditions. So we also have reflect. And paired here with the Hermit card, this is a double calling to take that much needed time out. And this is immediate, effective immediately, okay? And this calls you to that remembrance that you are the mirror. And your twin is you, you are your twin, you are the same essence. So whatever is going on within the dynamic, of course, everyone has free will, but you do own your part. This is where you work on yourself. You take that time of reflection to relax and rejuvenate. Bring yourself back into vitality. This is looking inside, reconnecting to your inner child, your inner baby, your inner teenager. This is reconnecting to your love and your passion and your desire and your bliss. And whatever is hindering that or constricting that, this is where you address that and release it. Let's get a final message. masculine side bag of tricks this is about the mask that we wear this is about manipulation or tactics schematics devising of plans and when we are truly honoring our own cycles and rhythms and our own self and really attending to our needs and desires and to our bliss uh, we already have the victory that we are called to because everything is within us. We're set up, set up for success on our path. So if we feel the need to use a bag of tricks to achieve status or rapture or pleasure, bliss, whatever it may be, there is a need to maybe address our path because... You are born to this path to lead, to inspire, and to move forward. And on the Divine Feminine side, we have royalty. So this is owning that you are of a royal bloodline, that you are divine. This is owning that you are a healer, that you do channel healing energy. And it's time to use that. Use that healing for yourself, for your path, your purpose, for those around you, for the earth. This is stepping into your mission. And this is also that setting of your intent because you know and own who you are. 